Okay, good evening. And um, just thought I'd uh, take a little diversion here uh, from the Eddystone radio, um, which is pretty much complete now. Um, all I've got to do is the uh, final test. And uh, I thought um, one of the things that uh, you hear a lot about but never actually see is the dummy antenna which you use to connect to the actual radio from your signal generator. So that's what we've got on the bench here. Um, this is my one, uh, which is one I've built, um, as with a lot of the stuff I have. Um, and basically it's a, a little aluminium die-cast chassis and what you have is you have a couple of capacitors, an inductor and a resistor and all this does is it makes a mismatched antenna um, for the radio and it also protects the input of the signal generator so um, this to your vintage radio looks like a typical antenna um, and this to the signal generator just looks like um, a DC blocked um, supply. Uh, it, it allows the ACRF to come straight through it but blocks any DC coming either way so that uh, you don't get any dangerous voltages up to the signal generator. So what I'm going to do, I'll get this piece of paper and I shall just uh, quickly draw the circuit for you and uh, what you have here is you have the capacitor which uh, then splits off two ways you have an inductor like that and on this side you have um, the resistor and I know I'm using the the vintage symbol um, but there we go and you have another capacitor like this so and your signal generator is in this end and on this end you have the old radio and uh, it, it basically as I say it, it just provides a, a mismatch for the radio to the SIG gen um, the SIG gen is, is a, a nice low 50 ohm output um, whereas the old radio is expecting to, t to see something between um, say 400 and you know a thousand ohms as an impedance on the out on the aerial input um, if you put 50 ohms straight into the old radio um, when you actually put um, any rough antenna on the end of it you'll find that uh, it will actually detune the radio um, it, it's it's looking for a typical antenna which is this sort of level um, not this precise 50 ohm low impedance load so yeah um, this this is what it looks like um, I should actually draw in the other part of it as well um, if you can imagine that this is coax um, like this and these are connected together and depending on the radio this would be a ground connection so you, you've got uh, the metal box acting as the earth connection between the two and uh, it also provides the shielding of this circuit so that uh, noise doesn't actually come in through the casing um, and it, it means that if I put um, say you know a hundred microvolt signal in at this end I expect to see you know as near as a hundred microvolts out of this end and it means you can actually set up a, a receiver and measure the sensitivity a bit better than uh, just, you know, guessing. So, there we go. That's my uh, dummy antenna for vintage radio servicing. I hope you enjoy this little sort of interlude from what we normally do. And um, hopefully you'll uh, stick around and watch some of the other videos. Um, next one that should be coming along will be the um, the Eddystone radio uh, final test um, 
it is back in its cabinet now. I have done the alignment. All I've got to do now is run it up with a real antenna and uh, see what we can pick up. So I'll see you for that video. Back again soon. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to click the little bell icon. Uh, that'll just keep you informed of what I'm up to. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now.